I adore you. Let's stay together forever. I'm the happiest man alive because of you, Amanda. Sweetheart, will you marry me? Yes, say yes! <laughs> 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 You go on! Hurry! Ferocia, I know you're in there. You're surrounded. Come on out! Ferocia, what were you doing one hour ago? Shh. You don't have to wake her up. She's got a cold and a fever. She's been on the couch all day long. Uh. Oh! oh. <laughs> My love is undying and eternal, Amanda. <sighs> Together, we're unstoppable, my darling <laughs> Billy. <gasps> ah, too bad. One of these days I'm gonna catch you red-handed. Mark my words. I'm sure you will, Lieutenant. Come back and visit us whenever you like. Bye-bye now. <sighs> I'm sick and tired of living with public enemy number one. Police are always at our door. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe the lieutenant comes over so often because he has a crush on my sister. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. I would never date a cop. Now stop babbling and give me back my bling. It wouldn't hurt you to be a little nicer to Lieutenant Donnelly. Don't you think he's charming in his own special way? Stop watching so much TV. Start living in the real world. Robbers and officers don't mix. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'm at Somebody stop! Huh? <laughs> I'm doing you a favor, princess. It didn't look good on you. Move my style. <laughs> Game over, Ferocia. Ferocia, you make my heart flutter. Just look at you, you're spellbinding. Let me hold your dainty hand. I want to give it the most delicate and tender of kisses. Hey, pause out, buddy. Stop her, she's a criminal. She took my favorite necklace. Excuse me, but how could you accuse this kind, adorable creature? I'll have you know she's perfectly innocent. What? But, but I saw the whole thing. If you don't leave us alone right now, I'll give you some new bracelets. Huh. You and I, we come from different worlds, but our bond will last a lifetime. Ferocia, I... I, uh, I love you. Oh, and I'm so, uh, happy oh. we're together. Oh. <laughs> All right, come on, you old dog, let's split. <laughs> Put out another plate. We've got company. Remember, Lieutenant Donnelly? And, well, we're dating. Oh, please, just call me Billy, my love. I could always tell there was a spark between the two of you. Welcome to our home, Lieutenant. <laughs> oh, mm. this is good. Mm. Well, you're a great cook. Come on, we're gonna run out of grub. You gotta learn to share the spoils, you blockhead. Uh, my beloved. Oh, I'm so sorry to embarrass you, Turtle Dog. That's all right, you can make it up to me. Why don't you massage my feet? Oh, oh. Aren't they just the cutest couple you've ever seen? Help, save me, Donald, uh, Billy. There's a disgusting monster running around on the table! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh. 
Thank you for saving me, dear. I was scared. There's nothing to be afraid of, Sunshine. I'll always protect you from harm. Hey, I'm getting tired, honey bucket. Do you think maybe we could go to sleep now? <laughs> My little Billy Goat is allergic to humidity. It would be cruel to send him to the basement, don't you think? Of course! Oh, you poor thing! Oh, you can sleep in our bedroom, by all means! Can someone explain to me what's happening? Like, actually? <sighs> huh? Sleep well, gorgeous lady. Yeah, yeah, good night. Now give me some space, will ya? Your precious queen likes to sprawl. The floor's not so bad, right? Do you mind, dear? Everything's just fine as long as I'm near you, love of my life. And don't you dare start snoring. I can't stand up when people do that. <sighs> What's going on, Cindy? You sleeping in prison tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you almost destroyed my social life! Never, ever do that again, all right? Hey, I'm just trying to be part of the family and show you that I care. By the way, please call me Uncle Bill. Uncle ah. Bill, could you put on the siren, please? So we can pretend we're in the movies? Why not? The faster we go, the sooner we can pick up your aunt from her work. Huh? Step on it! Step on it! Oh, hi there, kids. How was school today? Hey, why were you wearing a hood? What's in this gigantic bag? Nothing, don't worry. I'm so glad to have you back, my lovely princess. I bet you're tired after working all day long. Hang on. I forgot something. Pull over. <laughs> Step on it! Step on it, Harry! Did she clean out every store in the city or what? This is so not okay! I can't even play video games! <gasps> Has anybody seen my slippers? I have. I lent them to Billy. He's very sensitive to cold drafts. <laughs> what's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours. Right, buddy? Of course, we're family. <laughs> Hello! It's time to confess, Mom. Confess to what? I just gave those lovebirds the little nudge that they needed. <laughs> Hurry up, you good-for-nothing sap. Don't you see she's just using him to get away with burgling everyone? Look at this! If you don't lift the love spell now, we're all going to prison. You're right. I'm sorry, Cindy. I was hoping that romance would keep her out of trouble. Unfortunately, there's nothing that I can do now. <gasps> love spells can't be broken with the flick of a magic wand. Oh, but there's another thing that we could try. Popcorn! <laughs> Well, how is it going between you and Billy? Perfect. It's like magic. <laughs> That's wonderful to hear, Ferocia. Who would have thought? Huh? You know, it's nice to see such a pure love. Hey, that <gasps> popcorn's not gonna serve itself. Hold on, sweetie. Sorry. I was just wondering if you two had ever considered. Getting a little more serious. Okay, everyone, places! What's with the eyesore? Don't waste my time, I got plans later. Hey, let go of me! Put me down! <gasps> Ferocia, darling, you light up my life. Will you be my lawful wife? Kiss the bride! 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 Billy? Everything okay? 
What are you doing? Have you totally lost your mind? The only thing that could cure him was a loveless kiss. <laughs> Ferocia, you're under arrest for burglary and larceny. <coughs> Resisting arrest and insulting an officer. <laughs> hey, stop you in the name of the law. <sighs> Fare thee well, Uncle Bill. Wait, why are you doing this to me, honey bucket? I love you. Come on, I love you. That's lovely, darling. Massacre every last one of them. One more level, and I'll be master of the galaxy! <laughs> you picked a bad moment, Your Highness! Tom, it's urgent! My bathwater is getting cold. I could get double pneumonia! <sighs> uh -uh, not too much, Tom. You'd better not get cold as quickly this time. Mm. Tom! What about the perfumed lily oil? What kind of a wimp are you? You obey that toad's every whim, like you're his little dog. Are you the master, or is he? Mm -hmm. Look, you're not in the palace here. How about lifting one of those little web feet for once, so that I can finish my game? Yeah, keep your wig on, your royal wartling. <laughs> I'd never have imagined that you, Tom, would mock my appearance. That hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> Come on, your highness. I didn't mean to... Uh, don't wear yourself out. I understand. You see me as a commonplace pit. Come on, don't sulk. Okay, what do you want me to do? Oh, nothing fancy. Say, a drop of Earl Grey with a smidgen of dragonfly souffle, a few likely <sighs> buttered slices of toast, uh, and most of all, don't forget the royal jelly. You know I can't digest regular honey. We're very, very, very proud of you. Hmm? Oh, of course. <laughs> I promised, didn't I? <laughs> so, what kind of reward do you want? A pet. But you already have His Highness. His Highness oh. is not a real pet, Dad. Uh, he's not affectionate. He's... Mm. Here's what you need. An adorable beast. The house will be safe with this guy, believe me. Oh, don't be silly. We'd never be able to get a leash with three collars. <laughs> uh, how about the animal shelter? They're just like us, you know. Sensitive, delicate. The only thing they lack is language. Oh, you mean they don't talk? Our toad is quite the opposite. He's a real chatterbox. Ribbit! Ribbit! <laughs> a real chatterbox! <laughs> what? Something wrong? You got a problem with a cat wearing boots? <laughs> what did you say? <clears throat> uh, dogs ever chew boots? Only when they're being playful, they won't do any harm. Now look at this little darling. This breed is ideal for children. <laughs> he already has a name, Rex. It means king in Latin. Soak the kibble to soften it. And whatever you do, don't leave meat out. A dog's sense of smell is 10,000 times more developed than man's. I'll stop by your house soon to see how Rex is adjusting, to see how he's getting on with your pet frog. <laughs> what a little cutie. Adorable. <laughs> 
You were so cute, I could eat him up. <laughs> oh, that's just an expression. <laughs> I really don't see what you all find so irresistible about this mutt. Thing I can't abide. It's over familiarity. Let me help you out there, son. Which one you want? Uh, the chicken and the veal dried biscuits. No, nope. behind those, right in the back. Chicken, veal. Now, how? So well together. It's so sweet. <gasps> but what's happening to me? It's like a dog's sense of smell is ten thousand times more developed than man's. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up liking him with no strings attached. <laughs> Hilarious! Uh, that bark really suits you, Verosha. <laughs> well done, Rex. Who oh, don't you want to thank our friend? Is it your dog that's barking? I hope he's gentle. Our little candy is frightened of vicious dogs. Oh, not vicious. He's absolutely gentle as a lamb, Mrs. Lumberg. He's just a little pup. <laughs> Uh, he has a cold, and his voice is husky. In fact, I gotta run. Time for his medicine drops. <laughs> Bye! Ferocia, you should be ashamed of yourself. A poor little animal who did nothing to you. Why didn't I think of this earlier? Nothing like help from a professional witch. 
Don't speak to me in that tone of voice! Uh, what did you just say? Uh, Rex's tongue is covered in magic dust! Ever since he licked my nose, I have a dog sense of smell! I guess your throat is even worse. I would advise you to keep away, Gregor, unless you want to experience the same fate. <laughs> it's okay, Rex. It's not your fault. Ah, come here right now! You hear me? <gasps> you know how to talk dog, Ferocia? Oh, I'll bet Rex is happy about that. Have you got your wand? We're gonna need it. <laughs> Mom will do you as soon as we get back, Aunt Ferocia. If Rex hasn't turned us all into dogs before then. Oh! <laughs> shh, 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 quiet. Neighbors, down. Lie down, bastard. Oh! You're a dog who bites, are you? Oh, you don't have rabies, do you? This is fun. Do I have to sniff too? No, Mom. I have a dog's sense of smell. Hmm. <laughs> Different language, same tone. Sorry, my dear. I don't speak poodle. <laughs> 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 Your Highness! My dear Gregor, I've put up with nasty remarks from this shrew for the past four centuries, so now really... <laughs> Ferocia! No doggy biscuits! <laughs> Good day, sir. I'm from the Humane Society Animal Shelter. Yahoo! There he is, with a poodle! Well, oh, they make friends so easily at that age. Think it's normal to baby talk someone who happens to be 63 years old? Not to mention this ridiculous hairstyle. Who are you? Uh, excuse me, miss. I, I think you dropped something. Rex! Rex! Here, boy! Here, boy! Oh, it's Easy peasy to reverse a recent charm, but if you wait too long, like for his highness, you're absolutely sure. Mom! Mistreatment? Never! He loves being tossed in the air, as ever since he was a tiny tad, isn't that so, your highness? <laughs> Uh, uh, let me introduce my sister-in-law, who, uh, I mean, she lost her voice. <laughs> oh, it worked! I'm cured! Now we better cure Aunt Ferocia. I can't get rid of the magic dust stuck between his teeth. We'll have to brush them when we get home. In the meantime, we better not take any chances. I hope nothing has happened to Rex. They've been gone a long time. Uh, don't try to talk yet, Ferocia. You'll just damage your vocal cords. <laughs> we found Rex! He almost... What? You lost him? What is that muzzle? He isn't a pit bull! Um, well, you see, what happened was... 
I'm very sorry, Tom, but I'm taking Rex back. Ah, uh, so there is a kind of justice after all. Uh, this will probably work out best for you, Rex. Living with this family's tough on anyone. Tom! The lady has to leave now. <laughs> Coming! <laughs> turning those other dogs into humans. He was so cute. <laughs> yes, I'm coming. <laughs> well, I never. Who would think a toad could be so attached to a dog? But I thought his highness was jealous. That's beautiful. Aha! So that's it! Uh-oh. Well, he certainly made a big mess. So, how do we feel now? Can you say, ah? I wonder if that's good or bad. Uh, you don't have a lion in there, do you? <laughs> no. That's my aunt, watching one of her animal life documentaries. I'll ask her to turn down the volume. <laughs> it's amazing. His face looks almost human. What a shame he's so ugly. Hey, guys, close the door! Aunt Ferocia, please try to keep it down. Uh, I'm sorry. She didn't want to listen to me. <laughs> Aww, he just adores his puppy, Rex. A real love story. <laughs> come, come, my dear fellow. Let's put our silly differences behind us and seal our newfound friendship with a kiss. One difficult moment to get through. Why won't you transform me, you stupid flea bag? See, we are getting closer to your personality. If you weren't my sister, I would have. It's me. It's me. I'm me. At last. So that's it. I'm leaving the dog with you after all. This relationship between a dog and a toad is so extraordinary. <laughs> Should have known. Thanks, Your Highness. You just couldn't handle the thought of me having fun with any other animal, could you? Now, who left this in the bathroom? There's magic dust all over the bathroom carpet. Anyone could have been transformed, and for once, it wouldn't be my fault. Oh, no! They changed bodies! His Highness is the one going back to the shelter! Oh, isn't he beautiful, Mommy? I love his face! <laughs> well, this little fella didn't have to wait long. Hmm? Shh! It's okay. I'm here with Mom. Mm -hmm. It's sweet of you to come, but in fact, I've decided that the doggy life is the life for me. What? Oh, come on, Rex. I mean, 
Your Highness, you're not meant for a dog's life. Yes, but humans only like cute animals. But I love you the way you are. <laughs> what about our chess games, naval battles? Have you forgotten all that? I'll play ball. Mm. But your family. As is Ferocia, alas. Oh. Mm. You are all mine. You're my own little doogie woogie. I love you. Can we get in the pink cold for winter? We'll leave you to your new life with your new owner. It'll be time for your dry doggy biscuits soon. Won't that be a nice change from duck liver pate on toast? Ah, all things considered, I'd like to reassess my decision. <laughs> Question of flair. I am fed up with losing. Do I really have to give you another foot massage? A deal is a deal, my dear chap. Mm, G5, G6, G7. <gasps> You're cheating! <laughs> what can I say? That's my human side. It's what you love about me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> telling you they're real. There's proof online the whole world's totally filled with ghosts and spirits. Boo. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. That's ridiculous. Hello. Ah! It hurt us. Cindy. <gasps> Whoa, Freaky. It knows your name. Tom? Help. Oh. Come on. I'm stuck. Thanks. Victor put me in there. <laughs> 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 it's his way of saying have a good summer. Do you hmm. guys know what you're gonna do now that school's out? Uh, hmm. I've got it! Look! Ultra Park! Hey, Tom, you a fan of go-karts? What about concerts? Paintball? Then Ultra Park's the summer camp for you! Hey, Mom! Hey, Dad! We, we know, know what we're, what we're doing, doing this summer! summer! Cram camp? A student's dream? A month of extra courses to perfect your skills in every subject. Doesn't that sound cool? And the good news is... <gasps> you're already registered. Mm. But we want the other one. You only have to go for a month. Then Ultra Park will be your reward. The best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. And the fun's kicking off soon. The first day of summer school is... Tomorrow! Uh. Mm. Math, English... Gardening sounds like a blast. Hey, there's a first aid class. It could be cool. Even if you get asked to do CPR on a dude with ogre breath and super bad body odor? What? <laughs> That's a good point. Never mind. I wish we could fast forward to August. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Ready to jump into the future? Yeah! Let's do this! Don't delay. Move us forward by 30 whole days. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Did we actually just time travel? See for yourself. Huh? Check out the Ooh. date. There's 31 days in July. We still have one more day of cram camp left. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I can fix it. Just watch. Uh, ah! Oh, no! Mom's summoning her wand! <laughs> You should be grateful. Without me, we'd still have a whole month. I made your favorite sandwich. Anything for my little hero. Gotta have fuel. Never know when the world will need your super strength. 
And now for my perfectly terrible niece, a perfectly terrible lunch. Mm -hmm. Have a good day, villainous. Huh? Whoa, your highness? Don't ask me how I got in there. You wouldn't believe it anyway. Why is it so quiet? Are we the only ones who signed up? I guess that's not really a surprise. Uh, this a joke or something? Tom, Tom, hey, girls, Tom. what's the deal? Everyone's being extra crazy today. Wait, who just said that? I didn't oh. hear anyone. Weirdo, well, maybe it was the wind. <laughs> hmm. He's the bravest guy I've ever known! You're the best, Super Tom! Oh, thanks. Uh, Tom, do you think maybe we could take a selfie with you? Uh, yeah, sure. Yay! <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Victor! Is this your desk? I wasn't paying attention! <laughs> Well, it's all good. Huh? Don't worry. You can sit where you want. Take this. Whoa. You like strawberry jam, right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know that wasn't on purpose, right? I'm so sorry. I mean it. Please don't be angry. No, it was me. I'm kind of huh? clumsy. All right, class. Listen up, please. This afternoon, we're gonna have a ceremony in honor of our friend Tom. He's being awarded a medal, because he's our special hero. Oh, oh yeah! Woo My buddy deserves it! That was awesome! <laughs> mm. I can't believe Cindy did that. Tip Good luck living it down. Why'd I ever think she was cool? I don't know. That girl's got some mm -hmm. nerve. As if we talked to her. Hey, I'm wondering if uh, you guys are mad at me? What do you mean? Are you worried about your reputation? No! <laughs> Not for real? Hey, what's up, Tom? Huh? What's up, Ahmed? <laughs> All good, little bro? Yeah, awesome. You? Am I dreaming or did he just fist bump with the coolest guy in school? What you did was sweet, man. Everybody thinks you're a hero. <laughs> uh, Thanks! Hmm. You hear that? Time traveling is the best! Yeah, for you, maybe. I'm having the worst time. No one will even talk to me. Nope, but they all love your cool brother, Tom. There's got to be a reason the future's backwards. Why would they think you're a hero? That's easy, because I'm cool, super strong, charming, and I'm big. Not the last one. What did we do that made us so unlikable? And adored. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it's all wrong. Let's try to find out what happened here. Hey, Jojo, could you maybe act out my heroic feat for me? Because I was just kind of wondering what it looked like. <laughs> yeah, sure. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. You were like, huh? And Victor was all like, eh. Uh, and then you did this. And then, oh. Uh, and then, uh, and then you were like, uh, and after that, you did this. Hoo, ha, ah, hoo, ha. Ah. You get the picture? Um. Hey, Ahmed, got a question. You mind? Uh... Hey, just don't, all right? I'm too busy. It'll just take a second. Why don't you like me? Ah! Hey, what's up, Jeff? Would you mind telling me your version of what happened the other day? I want to know how it looked to you. Can't, sorry. It's my new style. You don't see much with this hair, do you? <laughs> Hi, girls. Mm -hmm. I figured out how to fix this. Vengefulness. Just do to me whatever I did to you. Sound like a plan? <laughs> <laughs> I can handle being unpopular, but how come they won't even explain to me why? Huh? <gasps> I think I just found us the perfect solution. This is an exclusive interview for the school newspaper. Okay, Miss Tinker, can you please tell us what made Tom a hero? We want the whole story. Of course, it all started at the local park. <laughs> <laughs> Step aside for the pro, dorks. Nice one, Tom. Very mature. Is he breathing, dude? Huh? 
Tom revealed his heroic nature. Thanks to his first aid course, he was able to give Victor mouth to mouth. And that is how he saved the day. <laughs> Do you mind if I borrow this little hotshot here for a private interview? Huh? No way! I'm staying here in the future! You want me to be a social outcast for the rest of my life? Everyone's got a place. The role of school hero is already taken. Whatever! It's for something you didn't do. But if we go back, we can learn all that cool stuff. Victor's not getting close to my mouth. Blech! Well, not again, anyway. Miss Tinker's waiting. She's gonna give me a medal. I'm begging you! Go back to the past with me. We time travel together. It won't work with just one of us. Uh, no, you're on your own, sister. It is with glowing pride that we present the honorary first aid medal to our rescue extraordinaire. <laughs> hey, you have your medal. Now it's time to leave. He swallowed the medal! Help, Tom! You gotta save him! Tom! 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 Uh, no, I mean, I mean, not yet. I, I, I first I need to. Uh, uh, there's no time, Tom! Save him! You're the only one who can! It's your chance to make things right! Not happening, okay? You're the hero of the hour. Ah, oh. oh, come on! You've kissed a guy before! You have too, remember? Aid classes couldn't hurt. There, we've moved back to two days before our course starts. Um, can we do three days instead? There's a soccer game that I really don't want to miss. Okay, it's better than three months. Give us both a break for once, move us backward by three months. <sighs> Wait, did you just say three months? You were supposed to say three days! Hmm? Ah, I messed up! We're at April 13th! What are you yelling about this time? And how did you get a hold of my wand? That's enough. Now grab your school bags. You only have two months left before summer. Time's going by so fast, don't you think? Ah! 